Okay, particle is projected down a line across slope or a smooth inclined plane, has five meters a second an instance when it's been traveling for 1.6 seconds and a distance to that. Okay, so it's going down a smooth plane, it's been projected, so that means it will have initial speed of u and over the course of 6.4 meters or indeed that's is the same as 1.6 seconds the speed at the end will be 5 meters per second at the end and that'll be our theta there we'll see where we are so this again is a stuva type question so first part stuva we know that s is a distance which is 6.4 we know the time is 1.6. The initial velocity is what we want to try and find. We uh, know the final velocity is 5. And we also want to find out the acceleration. But let's work out the speed first. So let's use these to here, not the acceleration one. And that's the one without the a. So that will be s equals a half of u plus v times t. Put them in there. 6.4 equals a half of u plus 5 times by 1.6 and so that will say that's uh, 6.4 over 0.8 equals u plus 5 and so 8 equals u plus 5 and so u equals 3 meters per second and then I could find out, and we got that, I shall use V equals U plus AT again. I could, I suppose, use the one without the U and use S equals VT minus a half AT squared, but V equals U plus AT is easier. And that will give me that's five equals three plus, that's a plus uh, A times 1.6. And so A equals 2 over 1.6 which equals 1.25 meters per second squared and that's the first bit and then the inclination of the plane to the vertical well, this is going to definitely be a force um, type one so i'm going to put the forces on here there's the weight going straight down which is mg and then this normal contact force going up there which is r and there is no friction, it's smooth, so that's all the forces I've got on there. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to resolve down the slope like that. And I know that resultant force must equal mass times acceleration. And so the resultant force, well, use my things, pink. That force here is made up of those two. So this is the bit what I want here, and that'll be mg sine theta. And so I'll get mg sine theta equals m times my acceleration which is 1.25 and m's will cancel out and that means that sine theta equals 1.25 over 9.8 which is 0 0.12755102 and so theta equals 7.32809 degrees to the horizontal and so we want but it wants the plane to the vertical it doesn't want this angle it wants the angle here so therefore it's 90 minus that angle which equals 82.6719203 to the vertical and uh, I'll always work out the angle which feels more comfortable to work out to start off with, but then just check to see it's what they wanted. The plane to the vertical. Strange way of doing it, really. Uh, but there we are. That's question two done.